Hi everybody, today we will be looking at this asset from the asset store called Lean Localization. This asset is, um, well, it helps you easily switch between languages. There's a bunch of languages from Chinese to Italian, uh, predefined languages, easy to translate. Um, you could even uh, translate images. You could switch images depending on what language you're, you're currently on. Uh, and with that, let's go and check it out. So just import it. Import it. I have already imported it, but I'm just going to show you real quick how you could do it, just in case you don't know. Import it, import everything. And then just hit import. It will download everything for you. And with everything downloaded, you can go over here. We really don't need this. Go to the game view, and we all we have to do is, for example, add a canvas. Let's say you have some text that you want to localize or um, be able to switch languages between. Let me set this up real quick for you guys. Okay, so now we have the text. Okay, text is down here. Let me move it, center it a little bit. Check what's going on. Let's make the font a little bigger so we can see. Hello, everyone. Oh, let me spell it right. Everyone. And then we could also, for at least for this tutorial, change the color. So we could see the text a little easier. Now with the text set up, all we got to do is we could right click create an empty game object and then uh, here let me show you real quick create an empty we can name it if we want Let's say language manager then we add this script the lean localization script now we could do it like that or just delete it and add it from right here you right click in the hierarchy go to lean localization and it'll add one for you now all we have to do is we'll have a list this allows you to save the languages you could check it or uncheck it depending if you want to save it or not this is the default list of the languages once we add languages we will be able to choose a default language if we want and uh, this is to detect between the different languages, none, current culture, or current UI culture. So when we add languages, we'll add English first. Then we'll add Spanish and then Italian. Okay. After we add that, we go to the translations. And since this one's hello, everyone, translation is just something you could kind of reference your text to or your objects to so let's say like uh, hello text and once that is added or once we have that type out we add it and then it'll create this for us we have English Spanish and Italian the text will create for each one and then we'll type exactly what we have out here, which for me is hello, everyone. So let's say you had health or something, you could put health right here. 
down here you could put what health is in Spanish so for Spanish we'll put hola a todos or hola hola a todos and then for Italian it's ciao a tutti probably said that correct or completely wrong I looked it up at Google uh, in Google so hopefully that's how you spell it if not I'm sorry all Italian and then um, after that's done go to text or wherever you want to translate your text which would be right here and then we add the lean localization text with that added all we do is from the list we go to hello text and there you go it changed the text because right now we have the text as uh, let me also center this text real quick so we have the, the, the language currently set at Spanish so if we change it to English and run it it'll change back you have to run it every time you want to switch the current language and for it to update it will not update unless it's in re in uh, real time so now once we have all that let's say we want it or let's add some buttons real quick and then I'll show you how to also change images depending on what language you are currently on so for this we will add some buttons go to UI button just create a simple button real quick move it over here now with the lean localization um, asset they come with three flags an English flag a Spanish flag and a Japanese flag well of course we're not going to use the Japanese but we'll use Spanish Spanish flag down here these other assets are from games I'm working on currently right now um, Spanish and then we go to the next one which would be Italian now for the Italian like I said we don't have a flag for that so we'll just put for now this one but with the green tint on it I don't know why I always have problems with this color picker sometimes it lets me sometimes it don't if you know a good trick of how to deal with that let me know in the comments below would really appreciate it okay so now we got those three we got and let's put some text just in case we don't want to get confused so first we'll put English and raise the text up to like probably about 79 put it to uh, let's see what color will work a blue and maybe we'll bold it it's kind of hard to see so we'll just choose a different color for each one for England we could just use oh, well, we could see English right there with the white and then for Spanish we'll use let's see maybe uh, dark blue black let's see and then for Italian Bit. Mm. We'll 
put it that way. Um, another thing I learned is quick tip is that if you don't need to click on an object, especially a UI object, let me rephrase that. If you don't need to click on a text object with the text component on it, you could unclick raycast target. Because when you do build your game eventually, it will build to where all the text will be considered raycast targets. And if you really don't need to click on it, then there's no use of having it as a raycast target, which will help with performance if you have really large games. If you have a simple mobile game, I don't think it will matter too much. But anyways, back to localizations. So we're gonna get each button. We're gonna add um, a non-click function. We're gonna drag the lean localization game object with the script on it. So in case you made a empty game object and named it something completely different, just drag that one onto your buttons. And then with that, we go to lean localization on that drop down menu over here. Lean localization and go to set current language. So for each button, so for English, we're gonna put English. For the Spanish button, we'll put Spanish. And of course for the Italian button, we'll put Italian. After that is all done, it should work. So we'll hit play. And if it runs, okay. So English, English, Spanish, Italian. It all works. Now for images if you want to change an image let's say we have an image let me do this real quick ui image say we have an image right here let's make it a little bigger oh i said bigger not smaller all right let's drag that image up now let's put a couple images like i said i'm working on a project myself so i have um different images already now here we're gonna add a new translation like I told you earlier translation is just like kind of like a key code where you'll be able to um, match match this with whatever you're trying to change in if that makes sense so for example right here we put flag we could put it anything. We could put any key code. Uh, you could put A, B, flag, up, down, whatever you want. Then you add it. Then it adds the same thing as it did with this one. But instead of going to the text and creating new texts, we're going to create new objects for each language, English, Spanish, and Italian. Now, if you have an asset, you click on it and you'll be able to change whatever which one you want so this one I'll put this one for English um, this one for Spanish let me see this one for Spanish and then this one for Italian so what it would also do is that Select one already. Okay, so what it would also do is it would add here uh, sprite game objects as well. See, we were in the object section, we added objects, and it added some for the sprites as well. So now, if we hit play, it should work. That when we hit each button, it will change the image according to the button. First, let's make this bigger so we can see. Sorry about that. Hopefully, you guys saw earlier. But anyways, English. Hello, everybody. Spanish. Oh, 
we messed up so well I messed up on the image we got to go down we got to go add component add lean localized image so once we have that we hit list and we go to flag now you see it changed that's the one I have for the Italian flag so let's say I changed the Italian one to let's go down there you go now that's the Italian image if I hit play If it loads, there you go. Now, if we hit English, changes Spanish. Yeah, I don't know why I don't change on that one. Maybe let me see. I don't want to leave off like that. Maybe it was just the uh, image that wasn't working with it. Let me see. So, so Italian, we got that image. English, we got this image. Spanish, we got that image. Perfect. Now it's working. Now, if you have any questions, uh, if you need any help, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll help you as much as I can if you want to see a certain video, a certain tutorial, a certain uh, explanation or help for anything, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to help you. And um, if you want to see any future videos, else, other future videos, let me know as well. If you can, please like and subscribe. Thank you.